And this tutorial, we are going to create the simple login project. Enter username, so let's say Python like this. Enter password, let's say this password. And as you see, we are getting try again. You have two attempts left. Enter username, Python, this password. As you see, we are getting, you have one attempt left. Again, Python, this password. And we are getting your account is locked. Now let's run again. Let's say Python. Now let's write the correct password. And as you see, we are getting login successful. So let's start building this simple project. So we are going to import our PW input module and we will use this module so we can mask the user password entered in the terminal. And if you don't have this module, simply open your terminal and write pip install PW input like this. Okay. Now let's create the login function. This function will take username and password. Let's say for example, the correct username variable is equal to Python and the correct password variable is equal to Java. Then we will say return username equal equal to correct username and password equal equal to correct password. So if this condition is true, this function will return true, else it will return false. Okay. Now let's create our main function like this. So we are going to say main and in this function we will have max attempts. This will be equal to for example 3. Then we will use a for loop like this. We will say for attempt in range 1. So attempt will start from number 1 till max attempts plus 1. And we are saying plus 1 because the end parameter in the range function is exclusive. Meaning that by saying max attempts plus 1, 3 plus 1 is equal to 4. This 4 is exclusive. So the range will stop at 3. Okay. Then we will take the user input saying enter username. And we will mask the password entered by the user using PW input. So we will say PW input dot PW input enter password like this. Okay. Now we are going to say the following. So we will say if login, which is this function login, and we will pass to this function the input username, which is this variable and the input password. If this function is returning true, we will print login successful and we will say break, meaning that we will terminate this for loop. Now, if attempt is not equal to max attempts, meaning that if this attempt is not equal to three, which is this variable, we will print try again. You have max attempts minus attempt. So this will show the attempts left. Else, meaning that if this attempt is equal to the max attempts, which is equal to three, we will print your account is locked like this. Okay. Now let's call our main function, which is this function. So we are going to say the following. We will say if name is equal to main, meaning that if we are running this file as the main file, not as an imported module, we will call this main function, which is this function. Now let's run and see the result. So as you see in this case, we will be getting enter username. So let's say Python like this. Let's enter a random password. We have two attempts. Let's say Python. Let's enter the correct one. And as you see, we are getting login successful.